proud member, 21,400 of the Cloud Appreciation Society, came out a bit early this evening and has spent the last 20 minutes trying to sort out his cumulonimbus from his stratocumulus, from his cirrus, from his Stradivarius, you know what I mean? What a complicated cloud sky that is. What a cloudscape. It's just fabulous. There's everything in there. And that's why. Oh dear. Look at that beauty. Oh dear. It's going to get very wet. And we're going to lose the telly. And we might well lose the phone lines. That is a biggie. And it's only about quarter of an hour away. I'd best go home. I'm just, no, no, I'm going to stop out here. I'm going to stop out here and watch it develop. Wow! What a good one. Proper storm. Electrical storm. I can't decide whether to stop out and watch the um, lightning or go home and keep dry and watch the phone lines disintegrate and the telly go off because that's what's going to happen very shortly. So, we go from that beautiful skyscape over there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. To that bad boy. Always oh, that disturbing to look at. How dark it is. Come all the way up from the Pyrenees, this one. I've been watching on the radar all afternoon. It'll be bringing some moss with it, that's for sure. It'll have been dragged up by the um, column of air. And will be deposited tomorrow, hopefully. Wow, it's just fabulous out here tonight. Just lovely. Look at this. Just look at the colour. I'm going stop it so it will fall. And as we come round under the storm front, right on the top of the tree line there, it's got some charcoal greys and really dark blues and to browns and fawns and oranges and, and a bit of turquoise in it, a bit of orange. It's just marvellous. The wave patterns on the bottom of the clouds. Tremendous. And then, of course, we move round and there's the bad boy that's causing it all. You can hear thunder. There's lightning, of course. Getting closer by the minute, coming straight at us. Go and find a better point to look, because you see the sun's nearly gone down. No, it has gone down, but just look at it. The wonders and beauty of nature. All you have to do is get off your backside and come and look. I don't know, is it just me being enthusiastic about being, out, about being outdoors? Nobody else gives a shit about it anymore. There's so much here to enjoy. I don't understand why people don't do it. Bit of a worry, really. Because all the human race has lost touch with reality.